seconds into the Grand Prix. There's Tony Arbolino. He's in third. Joe Roberts has made a good start as well on the Ital Trans Blue Machine, number 16. He's up to four. He might have thought at this stage he'd be trying to hunt down already. Joe Roberts. Oh, who's gone off? Oh, goodness me, what's happened here? We may well see a red flag here. It looks like there's been a fire down there, doesn't it? Montella has crashed out. Montella was one of the best. Agura was ninth. Chantra was tenth. Goes through into second place. He had that moment, didn't he, on the gas? That was close there. To find a way back through on Ralph Fernandez. Guard a little bit wide. Yes, yeah, a multiple into it's, Matt, it's late afternoon here. It's getting hot. Temperatures on track have never been. Yeah, Benzeski, though, yeah, he's doing it away. with a stick job. He is clearing off, isn't he? While Roberts, Gardner, Kinnett, and Fernandez engage yet again. What's happened here? A bit further than the Montella. Oh, it's a massive high side at 15. Nothing Mandy could do about that to turn 15. Let's hope the pair of them are both okay. Fernandez here, number 25, has just barged oh. a clatter there. That's a racing incident, and unfortunately, Chantra knew nothing about it. Contact between Agura and Gravel Trap as well. Disaster that. Oh, Agura not able to capitalise on an outstanding qualifying in fourth place what? order. Looks like he's relatively unscathed. Big crashes then for Montella and Manzi right here through 50. The Japanese rider, that's Bo Ben Snyder. He's out of the race now as well. He's crashed out. He wasn't troubling the point scoring places, Bo Ben Schneider. And after a brilliant O2 battle, Kinnett looks like he's got the speed to get through and maybe chase also matching his pace. But when you look at Kinnett's pace, he was six tenths quicker than Betseki. He's now in eighth ahead of Bobier. Schrotter is up to tenth. That's a good job from him. Then it's a rain he's right. seconds between Roberts and Augusto Fernandez down in seventh place. There. Augusto Fernandez, he'll be so grateful to be able to see a race lead. My team, wasn't it? That famous last lap skirmish with Fabio the Gian Antonio. In well, fairness, Chad the top three regularly as well. He did say yesterday he felt like he had good rhythm. Yeah, he's only had three top tens in the last 11 row. Right. You'd think as well, at some point in this race, Matt, as Kinnett th thinks about a move into turn. With Pinkley has caught out Dixon. Not much warning there for Jake, and he's barrel rolling through the gravel. He comes now resting firmly on the shoulders of Chavi Vieja. He's in sixth place. Here comes Remy Gardner. He's go Kinnett. He must be getting a track limits warning short, sh uh, shortly. Second or third time he's done that. He's put himself on tabs with Joe Roberts ahead of him. He's having the bigger moments out of all of this group in the top seven. There's Ben Zeki, number 72, up ahead. Oh. Auto GP feeder programs, the Red Bull rookies, etc. But Pedro Acosta, probably not too much longer into the future where Ralph Fernandez and Pedro Acosta, oh. Fernandez. Yeah, Remy Garner just had his personal best lap of the race down to a 43-1-9. Oh. And Fernandez, the race leader. And at the moment, Kinnett and Roberts have got nothing for us, pulled the pin. And Ralph, because Remy Gardner's really mounting a strong late charge as well. But a 42.864 on board here with Remy Gardner trying to salvage a podium. He yeah. will more than likely be the one. Did he 
little fella, but he's trying to make himself as wide as possible. Oh, he's going to be very disappointed. Just in a little bit hot. Kinnett was abusing that front tight down the hill into the guard now. He's going to lunge somewhere. It's so one line here, Steve, so hard to overtake. You've got to feel like he's going to be turned for oh, a chance to get on top of things as well. Can he's now up towards Kinnett. Can Kinnett retaliate and turn third? Lose out, but he's now got the inside line back again. Robbie Gardner comes to fight back. They're almost caught. They take turns. Oh, he touches Joe Roberts. He, does. he wins here in Portugal once more ahead of Kinnett and Remy Gardner. That will be looked at. The rider, though, Aki Ayo has here. I think that will just be declared racing instant. A battle for the podium made by this young man. What a performance by Ralph Fernandez. Incredible. First in 2010, he gets the congratulations of his namesake, Augusto Fernandez.